Hi, my name is Fiona Lee Jones, and I'm a pianist, a composer, and an educator. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the seven white keys on the piano. So before I go into the seven notes, I want to talk a little about the tuning system. So the piano is tuned in equal temperament, so that's where an octave, like if we go from C to C, is divided up into 12 equal parts. Okay, so equal temperament is kind of cool because it allows you to play in any key possible. So, so you can transpose really easily. The only downside is that it's not perfectly in tune. So our fifths are actually a little bit flat and our thirds are actually a little bit wide. But most normal people can't tell the difference. So when we talk about pitch on the piano, we're talking about the highness or lowness of a note. So as I go to the left of the piano, I'm actually going down in frequency, down in pitch. So it's actually getting lower. So left is lower. When we go to the right in the piano, we're getting higher in pitch, higher in frequency. So on my concert grand, I have 88 different keys. So that means 88 different pitches, but there's a pattern that repeats over and over again. So let's take a look at the notes. Okay, so let's take a look at the keys on the piano. So you'll notice that the piano has groups of three black keys and also groups of two black keys. So the piano notes are actually the first seven letters of the alphabet. Okay, so the musical alphabet is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. After that, it repeats the same pattern over and over again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then again, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So one way to kind of remember where middle C is, is to find the name of the piano. So this is a chick ring. I'm going to go to the group of two black keys, and to the left one, I'm going to go down a half step, and that note right there is middle C. So this is a very important note middle C. So let's find all the C's on the piano. So and then we go up. Okay, so let's find the next note. What's one step higher than C? Well, count in the alphabet. What's the musical alphabet? A, B, C, D. So this will be D. So let's find all the D's on the piano. Next up higher than D is A, B, C, D, E. So we find all the E's. And then up here. And then let's find the next note after E. So A, B, C, D, E, F. All the F's. And then G, so next is G. And then after G, that's the end of the musical alphabet, we're gonna go back to A. So here's our A. So we find a group of three black keys, it's between the second and third black key. There's our A, so let's find all the A's. The lowest note on the piano is an A. And then we continue up. And then the next note after A is, what's the next letter in the alphabet from A? A, B. So find all the Bs. Okay, so that's how you find the seven notes on the piano. And is there a shortcut to remembering the names? Not really. In the end, you just have to keep practicing them until they're memorized. So just some exercises you can do is, um, you know, finding all the A's on the piano, finding all the B's on the piano, finding all the C's, D's, E's, F's, and G's. So just finding them, you know, like we did earlier. Um, another thing you can do is you can count up, starting from A, going up to the next octave A. So octave just means eight notes. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And 
then doing the same thing, but up a step higher. So starting at B and going up to B. So B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Going up another step, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and you know, so and so. So another thing you can also do is going backwards in the alphabet. This will help you uh, remember the names and the notes. So I'm gonna start from A, I'm gonna go down. So I have to count backwards in the alphabet. So A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. And then I'm gonna go down a step. G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G. And then to F, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F. Okay, and then another thing you can do is you can start at the very low end of the piano and just go all the way up the piano, say all the names of the notes forwards and then also backwards. And then finally, you can pick random notes on the keyboard and then just say the name out loud. So that, that would be an E, B, D, C, F, G. And sometimes it helps if someone picks the notes for you and then you can just name them. But there's really no shortcut. You just have to remember. But middle C is kind of the easiest way to kind of locate where the rest of the notes are if you're first starting out. So hopefully you know a little more about the white keys. Uh, stay tuned for the next video, which will be about the black keys. And I'm not talking about the band, um, but the black keys on the piano. So thank you again for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, stop it.